Well, let me introduce myself. See, I'm VIP for these people who don't know me like I'm CIP. I'm Maryland to the heart, so I'm DIB. He don't like it, who will suck my movie DIC. And I'm notorious for being BIG. Pop Muslim don't like cops, well, they PIG. PG County Bounty Killers, can you DIG? You want that third degree? That's me, DI, and G. What's going on? It's your boy, Big A for Five Productions. Just want to holler at you, say what's up, what's good. Repping MD, DC, VA all day, baby. So, so Big A, what's good? How you doing, man? Man, I can't complain. It's a beautiful Saturday night, you know, in the studio. True, true. Um, Quick question: What does what does fire mean to you, and what do you where do you see yourself in five years or five ten years with with fire production or in this music in this music industry? Well, fire to me, of course, what the acronym stands for: fierce, intoxicating, raw ecstasy. And what it means to me is just pure, unadulterated talent, music from the heart, from the soul, not this. Go with the crowd one, oh, I'm gangster. The go with the crowd one, oh, I'm in the club, making it rain. It's not about that. It's just about making good music, making uplifting music as well, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to be, no matter, to have longevity in, a, in this business that you that we in, you got to have versatility. You got to be multifaceted. You got to have multiple sides. You know, you can't be the same old one-page book. Nah, you got to have different chapters, man. That's one thing we all got, and we not, you know what I'm saying, we ain't going to hold our tongue for nothing. We're not going to go along with this industry crap, you know, fancy fly, oh, look at my red monkey jeans. You look like a monkey, man. You know what I'm saying? Who cares what jeans you wear, you know what I'm saying? What, what are you saying that's going to help somebody else? What are you saying, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, people ain't saying that, man. We're saying something. So, so in this industry that, that, that's, that you see today, um, how can I put this? Do is every uh, what you hear on the radio today? Is it is it all real, or is it is it is it just for radio? It, nobody, everybody just making nonsense music. Honestly, what it is is for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Some of the music is good. I'm not gonna fake and say everything out here is BS. You know what I'm saying? Cause some some stuff out here is you know it's club music, blah blah blah. Make people dance, make people feel good. Woo woo, that's good. But honestly, what I think it is. It's the top people, the people behind the scenes, the record execs, who saying what one type of music is bringing in money, you know what I'm saying? And not necessarily giving people a chance to listen to a comment or a chance to listen to a Talib, you know what I'm saying? They, they putting out only basically one type of music, one type of thing, and it's this fancy fly, blah, 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 because they think that's pulling money in. But what they don't realize is when you put that one product out there, out there, out there, People gonna start fainting for something new. Yeah, that stuff was good when it was hot, you know. But people tired of that, so you know, it's 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 basically it's a it's it's money, you know. Basically, that's what it is. Money corrupts everything, for real. Understand that. Understand that. So since this is a how can I say a close knit area, tri state area, DC, Maryland, and Virginia, mm -hmm. local artists that are trying to make it to to the industry. But what you heard throughout the whole throughout the whole tri-state area, is anybody is anybody worthy or has have you heard anything mainstream? I mean, I'll be real with you. Like, it's a lot of talented people in this area on the low, on the low. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's funny to me. It's like the most confident people in this area are usually the wackest rappers. You know what I'm saying? And usually the most unconfident people are usually the bammers That's like, yeah, they they that they got that fire. And man, I tell you about one. My man Zeno Malone, one of the sickest artists in this area. You know what I'm saying? Forget a Wale. Forget you know what I'm saying? Tabby and all. Nah, yeah. Besides us, that man is that's that man is that deal. My man B, serious, 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 serious. It's some serious artists in this area, but I just, I don't know, man. I just think the wrong ones get, you know what I'm saying? They get pushed out there or they just had the confidence to step out there. But, you know, I mean, you, you can't keep a good dog down forever, you know what I'm saying? So to all the artists out there who are good and, are, and do have substance, Man, just hang in there. It's all about patience and timing, man. 
No, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say nobody came up overnight because some people did. <laughs> Just look at the D4L, Lavi Taffy. I mean, yeah, they came up overnight, but do you really want that as your legacy, <laughs> Lavi Taffy? Nah, I don't think you want that as your legacy. So, you know what I'm saying? Just hold your head because if, if, a, if a common can make it, if a Talib can make it, if a most deaf can make it, Shoot, we all can make it, man. It's just, you know, keeping focused, staying on your grind, and just having, you know, the confidence in yourself.